Hey y'all. So I wanted to get on here because today is Monday and we are in the fifth day of October. And I would say since October has started, I have been feeling a sense of newness, a sense of um, transition, so to speak, you know. Um, and it's funny because how we see ourselves and the things that we plan on doing, they don't always go that way. You know, things don't always go the way that you expect them to go. And sometimes we just kind of have to expect for things to go a different way you know so for me like these past couple days this have been very interesting it's just like situation after situation um day after day we i experience like these little moments of um i don't even know i don't even know what to call them i don't even know what to call them but the reality is like i can see that i'm changing i can see that you know my reaction is a little bit different than it used to be you know i do things a little bit uh better you know a little bit more uh mindful than i used to be and you know it's because i'm continuing to grow i'm continuing to stretch i'm continuously um trying to be better within my business within my purpose within my lane you know i'm just really just staying in my lane and not really even letting anybody you know come over and take that power over me you know because i used to really be in a space where um i would let people um i would let people what do you call it really dictate what how my day went you know dictate how i felt dictate on the feelings that i continue to carry throughout the day and you know i'm just really ready to be like no more really ready to uh walk in my purpose and have that power to not let things overpower me not to let different situations or people um come in and change the way that I am completing my day or doing about things, you know, going about things. So um, it's very interesting how some things can, um, you're just going to be constantly tested. It's like a constant test, like a constant test. And sometimes like the test, the, the, everything is going to be confusing. You're going to be so confused about what is happening, what is going on, why is this happening, you know, and the reality is, it's because you ultimately ask God for something. You ask him to help you with something in some area, and that's what he's doing. He's stretching you. He's growing you. You're growing. And um, no matter what, anybody outside of what you're doing, no matter what they think, what they believe, what they say, you know, don't let that hinder you don't let that stop you just continue to go even as down as your kids you know these little kids they really don't know no better they don't know what to do they don't know how you know none of it none of it so we really have to continue to be positive and stay on our um on the right track we have to stay on the right track and ultimately i'm so happy and i'm so grateful for where god has brought me um in my business i'm so happy um and grateful for the people that he's bringing in my life no matter what i see in front of me um things are all um, always changing things are always going to be better things are always going to um change and become in your favor no matter how it looks today today you know you have to embrace the way you feel embrace whatever's going on but at the same time remember that you can do whatever you know remember that you there is more to come there is more happening there is more um that god wants for you because whatever you want wants you whatever we want wants us so that is a great message and i feel like you know so many people need it so many people you know they don't know which way to go so many people don't know which way to take or which route to take and sometimes you just need to take some time to yourself listen to god listen to your abilities listen to what it is that you really need to do because ultimately you know we all have somewhere to go we all have a road to take it may not be the same but we're all going through something 2020 we're all going through this we're all growing and going through 2020 
So that's why I know, you know, 2021 is going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Amazing things are already happening in 2021 that we haven't even seen. And when we get there, we're already going to know what's for us and what's not for us. You know, I feel like this season, this year is about sifting and sorting and, you know, really, really changing up some things, changing up the, um, the plan changing up the path changing changing up the story changing up the results changing up the people that you invite changing up the things that you say yes to changing up the things that you say no to changing up the things that you you regret it you know and and really looking at things like wow okay i did take that out of my life it was a reason for that okay i took that out of my life it was it was for a reason i see now what the reason is i see now what the purpose is i see now what god's plan is for me because sometimes we don't see it or sometimes we don't want to see it you know we don't want to see it and you things can be a little bit more stressful they could be hard they could be challenging they could be whatever but ultimately it's all to grow you it's all to stretch you if you ask god to change your life and change some things up in your life and you want to be this person you want to be successful you want to do this and that you're going to have to change how you react you're going to have to change how what you say to yourself you're going to have to change how what you think what you think because um, a lot of the things we are manifesting and we don't even realize it. We don't even realize that we're manifesting more bills and more debt and more, more whatever as we think about these things. And you wonder why, you know, the bills keep coming, the debt keep coming. It just keep coming, it keep going, it keep going. But we have to think positive. We have to be happy in the now. Feel better right now. Feel good right now. And learn how to embrace the change, embrace the challenges, embrace the journey. Because it's all a journey. It's all a journey. You'll always be growing. You'll always be learning. You'll always be stretching. And if you're not, then you're at a standstill and you're getting comfortable. And sometimes when you're comfortable, that's where depression lies. That's where stress lies. That's where regret lies. That's where anxiousness lies, you know? That's a word. <laughs> that is a word y'all like wherever you're so comfortable at that is where the depression comes from that's where it comes from because in your mind you're really like you know oh i'm used to this i've been doing this da, 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 but you want more and because you want more and you're not getting the more that you want but you continue to do the same things why are we doing the same things if you want more if you want more, then you have to become more. If you want to attract more, if you want to attract more positivity, you have to be positive. If you want to attract somebody that's a leader and has all of these qualities and a go-getter and doing all of these things, then you have to become that person because it's like a it's like magnetism. It's like magnetism. And I used to be, you know, wondering why I'm like, why is you, why is all these people attracted to me? Why is these, why, why, why? And the reality is, it was because of me. I am the reason why. I have to continuously grow and learn and stretch and bring value to myself before I can bring that same value to other people. Because we can one and one and one and one, but nothing changes until you say, I am. I can, I did, I have. You have to speak that conviction over yourself because when you don't and you continuously say, I need this, I want that, oh, I can have that, you know, you're changing it up. When you say, I can, I am, I did, I have. But when you say stuff like, I want and I need and um, I'm a try and stuff like that, you'll always be trying. You'll always be needing. You'll always be wanting. You have to know that you are having, you have the things that you want. You have have the things that you desire and sometimes when you've done all that you can do and, and even like me too me me too like i have i have thought about different things and different situations i'm like dang i could have did this better i could have did that oh my god i could have i could have did this more i could have did this 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 you know but it's like reality is no you couldn't have no, you couldn't have. Because whatever you did in that moment, whatever you did in that situation, was all you could do. Because if you would have did more, you probably would have did it. And if you didn't, 
then do better next time. We can't gripe or reap on the things that we didn't do. Only thing we can do is continue to move forward. So forward thinking, forward manifesting, forward action, and never getting comfortable. You know, you can find you can find solace, you can find happiness, you can find a lot of things, you know, within your happy place and the things that you are doing. But don't get comfortable. Don't ever put yourself in a place where you're not learning, you're not growing, you're not stretching because eventually you will get in that and you will be so disappointed on yourself because you haven't learned anything new and everybody around you is changing and you saying somehow staying the same, but it's like it's like what it's like what you like to do. You know, it's like it's what what you wanted to do. But in reality, or in retrospect, you really want to grow. You really want to change. You really want to do better. So why haven't you done it? Why haven't you done it? Why haven't you changed this year and we're in October? Why haven't you lost the weight that you wanted to lose this year and we're in October? Why haven't you started the business that you wanted to start and we're in October? Okay, it's been 10 months. You cannot let the outside influences, the outside, the outside people, the outside burdens, the outside stress, the outside fears. You cannot let that stop you from your path. And if it did stop you one day or it slowed you down one day, get back to it the next day. Get back to it. Get back to it. Every day is Monday. Every day is Monday, and we have to believe that. We have to think like that. And I, I give myself some time on the weekends to really um, relax and debrief and have family time. But the reality is, you know, Sunday night, Sunday night, you need to be planning and sifting and sorting through things and how to plan out your week. And you may not even get all your goals. You may not even get to everything on your to-do list. But the whole fact that you were on a um, on the right plan, on the right path, and had the right state of mind, you're winning. You're winning every single day. When you work towards something and you work on something, you're winning. You're growing. You're stretching. No matter what. No matter what you think. No matter what you what you see. No matter what nobody say. If you are working on yourself at a 1% level on a daily basis, you are going somewhere. And in a year from now, you will be so much different. In a year, even three months, six months, nine months, you will be so different. And things will start to change around you. You will start thinking differently. And I'm talking about 1% a day. However that looks for you. However that looks for you. So sometimes, you know, I get caught up in, you know, dang, I I wish I could have did more. I really want to do this and I really want to do this and, you know, whatever. And this is like, okay, go ahead and do what you can do. And that's all you can do. That's it. That's all you can do. So um, I'm going to get off of here. I hope that I can inspire or help or encourage somebody to keep pushing um, to you know, get in there, plan out your goals, plan out your day. And if it doesn't go as planned, so what? You know, don't let that, don't get depressed in that. Don't don't get upset about that because it's not always going to be in the plan. It's sometimes the blessing is going to be in the unexpected. The blessing is going to be in the things that happened when you was in the plan, but you was outside of the plan. And, you know, it just, it happens. Happens. God doesn't work on our plan, but you got to have a plan. You got to have some type of plan, have some type of idea, have some type of list, some type of something to go to that you know that is what you're working on, is what you're working towards, and is what you want to do. So, at the end of the day, y'all, we just got to stay consistent. Stay committed to the process. Stay committed to the process. Stay committed to the journey. You know, it's a journey. Everybody's not going to want to be your friend. Everybody not going to want to work with you. Everybody not going to want to join me in business. Everybody's not going to want to take the products. Everybody's not going to want to have the results that I have. But the reality is that's okay. That's okay because I'm becoming the person that I need to be to attract the people that need to be with me. And that's all I want y'all to do. 
So I hope that I helped you guys this Monday morning. I'm actually going to go on a walk. Um, I had to get out of the house and I am in the car. So I'm going to do some things, have some personal time to myself to really just think and be. And um, I encourage y'all to do the same. So y'all have a great day.